I'm just gonna let it drive for a little bit, man. But you hear it? Oh, watch. And if you guys are new to my channel, man, this is my Trailblazer Super Sport. Man, we have four 12 inch CVR subs inside um, a bandpass box, fourth order. Man, we got mids and highs everywhere. Nitrous tank. To another video man it is like 7 30 in the morning and i came out here and just gave a quick uh, few touch-ups on the door panels on the back end i just want to get an early morning prep on them so when it's time to sand it's time to sand so stay tuned subscribe drop a comment hit that like and we're gonna get it today a few moments later boy mouse man and we are here i don't even know how many days till the actual show but all we know it is crunch time and man we we got some work to do i'm not even gonna get into it so if you watch yesterday's video, man, we fiberglassed these door panels. Unfortunately, like around like four o'clock, after I had put like the third layer of resin on it, um, man, it started pouring. And your boy had to put them underneath the porch so they didn't get like no direct sunlight. Um, so I actually came out this morning early at like 7:26, 7:30, and put another layer of fiberglass on it and matted it from the back. And it's hot today, but not as hot as it was yesterday. And you know, we're still waiting for this guy to kick in, um, but we just can't be sitting around not doing nothing. So we're I can actually gut the trailblazer because we need to make sure that we have everything um, that we need. So when we start wiring up and I can start pre-wiring the truck uh, later on in the afternoon, while I'm not working on that, I can work on something else. Because the thing is, we cannot just be sitting down waiting for something to happen to, you know, for us to do something else when we can just keep moving forward and trying to find a way how to stay busy um, so we're actually going to go ahead and start taking stuff from the trailblazer so the main thing i'm going to take out is this md 3000.1 i'm going to take the jl audio amp i'm going to take out uh, i ordered new fuse holders but i'm just going to take all these fuse holders out uh, the batteries are going to go inside the, Sil the silverado um, this main power wire this is actually pretty good power wire it's going to get uh, taken out but i got fresh new power wire that's going to get ran from the battery to the back um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use that one in case I need to make like new runs. But we got man, we got like a hundred feet of uh, zero gauge wire coming. It all should be here today. And I think that's pretty much it. RCAs, we got all new RCAs. Um, I am gonna take my base doubler because man, this is my baby right here. Um, this is when we put on some Beach Boys or like some rock music and we want it to get low. Man, that's gonna do our trick for us. But before we start anything, man, we need to take all the fuses out so we don't art nothing and you know mess anything up along the way so man let's get to it okay so i'm gonna actually start off by taking off all these fuses out in the back and work my way up because there is another fuse that goes before here that's actually behind this 10 inch actually so we're just gonna defuse everything because it's simply set up and then we're just gonna work our way up these little small ER power cell batteries listen when I say these things are no joke as little as they are these things are no joke I'm already sweating when when I went to um, Daytona uh, 
truck wheat, you know, the Daytona truck meat um, thing out there that they do in Daytona Beach. Listen, Florida weather, especially with heat reflecting off that water on that coastline. I got there like at 11 o'clock. I was straight jamming from 11 till like 5, 6, guys. Like full blast, jamming, jamming, jamming. My truck never once ever cut off on me. The amps did get hot, but it, I never, I barely dropped voltage. Uh, man, we were jamming on that thing ridiculously till finally, um, like around like 5, 6 o'clock, it finally cut out on me once. Not because of the voltage, but because the amp got super, super, super hot because it was so hot that day. And just jamming it at full blast. And my, the bass was beating the whole time. It, it was on my kicker 25 point, 2500.1 point that's right there. Look at it that thing right there guys when I say those batteries did its job that day my mids and highs never once ever cut out on me and I like I said I jam my stuff man I don't care if I blow it I'm there to have fun enjoy my system and those batteries did their thing I'm not even gonna lie like those batteries are no joke and we're gonna put those into Silverado because they're still holding up. definitely unhooked man they're they're just sitting in there waiting for their day to get put back in uh, probably we're gonna put the batteries in probably like Monday um, but now let's go ahead and take out the tear amps and we're gonna take that guy out carefully Although there's no power connected to it. We're just gonna slowly unplug it and make sure that it's safe I think I pretty much got everything unplugged that I need from back here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and track the the knob from the base doubler out, and I'm gonna throw all these screws away, everything, man, because I don't even need them. And then we're gonna start taking this power wire out. And I think for gutting the truck, man, we are done. Okay, so EQ can come out too. Snip, snip, snip. EQ clear on EQ. This is a brand new EQ, guys. And listen, Trailblazer is going to get a lot of major love. Like, that thing is going to get the best of the best because that is my baby. There's sentimental value into that truck. Um, so that thing is going to get spoiled. And we're going to start that truck January 1st on the New Year's. We're going to start the year off right. New paint job, new system, new everything. We're going to drop a turbo in the motor. Now, we're going to do so much with this truck. But, man, it's, it's got to help us out to be able to progress, to be able to, you know, put a lot more into her man. So. She's definitely gonna get her, her makeover that she deserves. All right, so look, let's show you what we got so far. Base doubler, clear on EQ, uh, Terra Amps MD3000.1, one ohm version, uh, and the Gerald Audio, which was this one? This is just so we can make sure. This is, dang, I don't even say. But I wanna say this is the, well, the 600 slash four. This is all stuff that we're going to use in the Silverado build, man. Um, and the only thing left to do is just take the power wire out. And we got everything out that truck is. Um, they're just sitting there. I'm, not, I'm just going to use the best out of it. Um, these are going to go on the tins on the doors. This is going to go for tweeters and outside speakers, man. So look at the wire. Okay, so I'm going to show you behind this 10 inch mid, there is a fuse holder. So we're just going to go ahead and take that guy out. Fuse. She's still good, man. See? Simple. Simple. Bam. So we'll see if this guy will work real quick. 5 sixteenths. Good length. Okay. My poor baby, man. I feel bad for my trouble. Is that the transmission's blown? And one of the relays was messed up and is act, making it act funny. But like I said, we're going to get her right. You know, she deserves it. She's, we started off the channel with her, man. So she's definitely going to get the massive makeover, guys. And if you guys are new to my channel, man, this is my Trailblazer Super Sport. Man, we have four 12-inch CVR subs inside um, a bandpass box, fourth order. Man, we got mids and highs everywhere. Nitrous tank, ice chest. Stripper pull, 15 inch flip down, fiberglass painted door panels, fiberglass painted console, uh, some badass uh, back seat panels, a custom made seat with speakers in the front. This is my baby, guys. Man, this is this is like my pride and joy. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna get the makeover 
it's gonna be bloody red inside here man black with red perfect combination led man this this truck once we get done with it guys next year uh, for the classics again it's gonna be a whole different truck so i'm just gonna let it drive for a little bit man but you hear it oh, come on. baby right there man that's my baby i ain't fired up since i moved her over here she's a champ man she never gives up like that's why i fuck with her so much you know saying sorry for my language but that's why i really take pride in my trailblazer man like she never dies she never dies you know we're gonna get it right we're either gonna go with user or x's in that thing like 215s or um 412 more likely 215 user x's sundowns and that thing with a, a Terra Amps 12,000 on that motherfucker, man. We're gonna, that thing is gonna get destroyed by the base, but make it look casual. Now that we got that out the way, man, let's go ahead and check out these door panels and see what's the progress on the drying, man. Got our little pry bar. Ooh, it's still a little, like, you see, you hear the difference in it? So this side needs a little bit more to get done. So what we're actually gonna do right now is we're just gonna go ahead and give it a quick bath with the acetone um, just to get the tackiness off. And All right, so they already got the little bath, everything, both of them. And now it's just a matter of letting them dry a little bit. Uh, and then once we just can come back start sanding it away like I said it's not that much sanding we have to do these it's just straight big uh, pieces so I think we should be good and in, in good shape yeah, but it's just a little bit time consuming with this fiberglass stuff and like I said there's no sunlight out today like there was yesterday but it doesn't feel real hot but we'll see what happens in the next hour um, I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed have faith and I know we're gonna get it man but that's it for today, gang. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Trailblazer is back alive. We're going to start getting on that thing uh, January 1st. Waiting on Amazon. We took everything that we needed. And, man, we're just going to keep going forward. You know, anything that we can do to try to get um, the stuff going. Like, say, for example, if I still need this to dry overnight and we get power wire and, you know, all the remote wires and primary wire, man, I can start wiring up, um, pre-wiring, running wires, everything in the Silverado just to knock that out the way. Um, so, you know, we cannot stop. We got to keep going forward and we are going to get a lot of stuff done. Uh, just a matter of, um, of time and we, we're still good on time, guys. You know, don't, don't trip. We're going to do it. So enough of that. Hope you guys have a good day and I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.